Shabbat Chazon Parashat Devarim is perhaps one of the most complicated, emotionally complicated Shabbatot of the year. We revisit the Eicha in the Torah portion, the terrible words of the Navi in the Haftarah, and that's what I want to focus on this week. Why do I need your sacrifices? I am filled with burnt offerings of rams and of fat sheep. I don't desire the blood of bulls, lambs and goats, says Yeshaya. What's going on here? A little bit later, Hashem says, your Rosh Chodesh celebrations, your festivals, I, I, I don't want them. They're a burden. I can't bear your celebrations. Totally being rejected. It echoes other, other prophets who declared better to shut down the temple than to allow the Jews to worship in the manner that they were doing. Very uncomfortable, very personal attacks against the very nature of our, Jew, our, of our relationship with Hashem. Says the Magid of Dubna, something beautiful. Says Hashem's displeasure with the people's festival observance stems from the fact that it's your Rosh Chodesh, your festival. We made it all about ourselves. We lost the connection. It's so easy in Jewish life to focus on the day and forget all about Hashem, to almost make Hashem an invisible personality within the practice of our Judaism. We dress a certain way because everybody's doing it. We dove in a certain style because that's the in thing to do. What about God? What about the relationship? Rosh Chodesh and Chagim and sacrifices, tefillah, any aspect of our Jewish life is about building a connection with Hashem, bringing honor to Hashem. Can any of us really claim that when we sit down at our Shabbat table, we're not thinking about the delicious food that's been cooked and we want to eat it. When we go for extras, it's not because we're doing so covered Shabbat, lichvod Shabbat, lichvod anything, but lichvod our bellies. And therefore, Shabbat Chazon takes us to a very personal place and we see ourselves not so different from our ancestors and we wonder, are we doing anything differently? Are we not responsible for the continual destruction of the Bet HaMikdash because we still haven't figured out that that building was meant to be not about bringing glory to our people but to bring honour to Hashem and the way we relate to it. Our entire Jewish life is off the off kilter. It's not the way it's meant to be. When we stop on Shabbat from work, is it meant to be a day just to flop on the, on the couch and chill and just disconnect? Or is it meant to reinvigorate us, to allow us to, those moments that we have perhaps didn't have during the week to connect to Torah and to learning Torah and to matters of spirituality and to Tehillim and to things that take us out of our physical existence? The people are taking what belonged to Hashem and kept it for themselves. Shabbat and festivals became a time not to enhance the connection and the service to Hashem, but to enhance our own in self-indulgences. The people offered sacrifices in order to soothe their guilty consciences. I don't want to feel bad, so I'll pay some money, I'll do something to make me feel spiritually enhanced. But it was about them. It wasn't about being devoted to Hashem. Rav Hash teaches us that Ben Israel began to approach religion as a place to seek refuge, to comfort them when nothing else worked they dabbled in religious cultish rituals rather than committing themselves fully and unconditionally to Hashem. They used his laws to serve themselves as a source to feel better in times of distress. And so Hashem says, when you, when you stretch out your hands to pray to me, I'm not interested. If you think religion is hocus pocus, if you think it's all about faking it so you can feel better, then I'm shutting the door. I don't want you. If your devotion is only for yourselves, then forget about it. You've missed the point. But here is the point. When the Mikdash is used, when the temple is used as a place to serve oneself rather than a place to serve Hashem, we lose it. And so the effort this week is to try and experience over Shabbat. The beauty of Shabbat, the beauty of our Jewish life, not for ourselves, but to bring honour to Hashem, to bring honour to the world and bring God into the world and please God. Rav Lach Shevet Be'emek Habacha is too much living in the valley of sorrow. We can learn to live our Jewish life right. And Hashem should return. Le'enei kolchai to everybody. The Mashiach with the Bet HaMikdash B'Sorot Tovah. Shabbat Shalom.